Hello, welcome to the CWP tutorial. In this video, we'll be taking a look at how to enable passive ports on your pure FTPD server and CSF firewall. The first thing we'll have to do is access the CWP dashboard and consult our services status window to ensure our FTP service is active. If not, go ahead and click the green start button. Next, let's go to the left-hand navigation pane and twirl down the file management submenu and find the advanced file manager. You can also search for file manager to filter the navigation pane results. Or even better, a shortcut for this is located at the top of the dashboard right here. This opens the CWP file manager, and here we're going to edit the pure FTPD configuration file located at etc slash pure dash ftpd slash pure dash ftpd dot conf. And now we can click edit content to modify the original file. This opens the config file in a text editor. Let's do a search for passive port range by either clicking on the search button or hitting control or command F on the keyboard and entering passive port range in the search field. Here is our passive port range but notice that it is inactive due to the pound sign marking it as a comment. To uncomment this, we just delete the pound sign and verify the range is set to 35,000, 50,000. If this line is missing, then simply add it at the end of the file. Passive port range, space, 35,000, space, 50,000. And save the changes. Now we'll return to the CWP dashboard and restart pure-ftpd to load the new configuration. The next step is to set the CSF firewall configuration. We can use our file manager to locate the file in etc slash csf slash csf dot conf. Or an even easier method is to access it through the CWP firewall manager. So let's head back to the CWP dashboard. We can access the firewall management module by either going to the navigation pane and opening the security submenu, or typing firewall in the search field and selecting firewall manager, or easiest of all, just click on the firewall management shortcut here at the top. This opens the firewall manager module and over on the right, we can see the allowed incoming and outgoing ports. To edit these, just click on the Configure button. This opens the CSF config file in a text editor. We want to add the same port range we used in the FTP configuration, under TCP in and TCP out. To find those lines, we can do a search for Allow Incoming TCP, or it's pretty easy to just scroll down through the file text until we see the numeric list of ports allowed, which kind of stands out. Now we'll add the same port range to both incoming and outgoing ports, like this. For incoming, we'll add 30,000 colon 50,000. And for outgoing, we'll add 30,000 colon 50,000. And save our changes. Now we'll have to restart the firewall to load the new configuration. So let's head back to the firewall manager and open the restart drop-down menu here near the top and select force restart all. And that's how to enable passive ports on your pure FTPD server and CSF firewall. For further details, please refer to the following links. We hope you found this tutorial useful. Thank you very much for watching.